For the following exercises, determine the number of real and non-real solutions for each quadratic function shown. Okay, so let's look at the first one. They give us a nice quadratic graph. Here it is. And we just have to find out if there's any real or non-real solutions. Now, in order to find out if there's a real solution, especially if they're saying real or non-real, aka imaginary, and remember, imaginary are I values, the graph means a little bit differently. Generally, we have an x-axis and a y-axis, right? But when we're doing real and non-real solutions, the graph turns a little bit differently. The x-coordinate stands for real values, so we could think of it as like an R, and the y-axis stands for imaginary, which is an I. Mainly because, remember, when, they're, when you're plotting points, you usually plot, I mean, you always plot x, comma, y. With complex numbers, remember, the actual real number comes first, and then the imaginary number comes last. That's standard notation. So, you know, an example would be like, I don't know, 2 minus 5i. The 2 is the real. The 5i is the imaginary. X comma Y. Real is the X. Imaginary is the Y. Okay. Now, for finding out these solutions with quadratics, remember... Um, we always want to see when it crosses the x-axis. Basically, when you have a, when your uh, quadratic will equal zero. Those are your solutions. So now if I look on this graph, on my real axis, because zero is an actual real value, right? I have two spots, boom, and boom. Now, they cross the x-axis, quote-unquote, they cross the real axis, so these would be classified as real solutions. How many real solutions do we have? We have two real solutions for this type of graph, mainly because there are two points that cross that real axis, the x Access. Now let's try to do the same thing for this lovely quadratic. So once again, we're doing real and non-real solutions. So the x-axis is always the real, the y-axis is the imaginary. Now if I look on my x-axis, the real axis, there are no parts or no point in which this graph crosses this real axis. So would there be any real solutions if it doesn't cross the real axis? Absolutely not. So in this case, we have zero real solutions. So what does that mean in terms of non-real solutions? That means that all of them have to be non-real. They have to be imaginary because no solutions are crossing that real or the x-axis. So in this case, there's zero real solutions. They are all non-real solutions. So the same type of idea you can state for the first one as well. There are two real solutions. The rest have to be all non-real solutions. So for the first one, there's two real, the rest are non-real, but the last one, there are zero real, they're all non-real solutions. And that's the end for this one, guys. What'd you think? This one was easy peasy. Just notice when that grass, the graph crosses the x-axis. All right, so give this video a thumbs up or unlike it uh, if you thought it, you know, helped you out. I hope I'm helping you guys out in your math class. Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to help us out. But anyway, regardless of whether you subscribe or not, I still love you. And I'll see you guys all in the next 
lesson. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye.